Oh. Yo, what the? F this is awkward. How, how did you get into my house? What? I can teach you how to create cinematic footage. There's only one thing. Look, I only have like 90 seconds to teach you this stuff. I gotta get ready for work. Huh? Yeah. The bathroom? No. You don't wanna use this bathroom. You use the other bathroom. I'm gonna I'm gonna go back in here. I'm gonna brush my teeth. Look, just I'm gonna brush my teeth, play my intro, I'm gonna get I got you. 90 seconds, I promise. Cinematic footage, 90 seconds. Just play my intro. I got you. I got you. Don't worry. Dollar in the dream, dollar in the dream. Dollar in the dream, dollar in the dream. Dollar in the dream, dollar in the dream. You want to learn how to shoot cinematic footage, get ready about this, shoot music video, films and web series, and you know, things like that. First thing I'm going to tell you about is frames per second. Now, I'm not going to get into the whole scientific knowledge about that. We can cover that another time. If you're shooting in 23 frames per second or 24 frames per second, you always want to make sure your shutter speed is double your frames per second. So, if you're shooting at 23.976 or 24 frames per second, make sure your shutter speed is at least 48 or 50. Damn, you think I need to shave? I think I need to shave. Oh, another thing. Color correction, color grade, just understand they're two different things. Color correction simply means bringing your colors back to what they're supposed to be. Color grade is more stylistic, and it also sets the mood. Color grade is gonna dictate the feel of it as well. Where are you going? I, I gotta get dressed, give me a second. Six months later. All right, that's better. Now, I'm hungry, let's, let's, let's get something to eat. So this next thing I'm gonna tell you about, lighting. You gotta be super careful with your choices in lighting. Your choices of lighting, peanut butter. Your choices of lighting are definitely a contributing factor to giving that cinematic feel that you're looking for. I think I'm gonna have chips for breakfast. Nah, I don't, I don't feel a fever. Camera movement, camera movement is super important. How you decide to move from which angle, from which side. You don't wanna always have your camera on sticks because it's not really gonna build on a scene. What are you trying to relay in your scene? Just like color grading, just like lighting, just like the shot angle in your composition, camera movement is equally important. I gotta hurry up, finish getting dressed and get the hell out of here and go to work. Camera movement is important. Frames per second, make sure your shutter speed is always double your frames per second. If you're shooting at 23 frames per second, shoot with a shutter of 50. If you're shooting with 60, shoot with a shutter of 120. Always keep that rule of thumb in mind. If you don't go out there and practice this stuff, you'll never know. Round it all up, make sure you shoot your shot. All right, I gotta go. The best thing that you can do for me right now is let people know more about my videos and things like that. Like, subscribe, and comment to my YouTube channel. Don't just show up in my crib like this again. It's, it's awkward. It's weird. I don't understand how you got in. You're here now. Just, just lock up when you're done. Maybe do my dishes too. All right, cool. I'm out of here.